Acropolis Games with Tim, Cheesy uh, Tim. Cheesy, He's going to be playing guard Tim. today in our bat rep. I'm going to be playing Tau. No cheese involved. None. I know people think that I cheese sometimes. No fish cheddar. Never. Never at all. Nope, I don't see any cheddar. So uh, we're going to be playing an Acropolis mission. we got 2,000 points of... Uh, 2,000 points? 2,000. Two. Zero, zero, of, uh, zero. of humanity versus uh, fish men. Fish yeah. commies. So it's important to note that this is a pre-Codex guard list. Uh, so there are zero Lehman Russes. Well, uh, there are one, there's one Lehman Russ. And that's Pask. Cause he's it's Pask. Twos, it's so. Pask. So I, I needed something for him to shoot on turn one, so I put Pask in the game. So now he'll be dead after turn one, and I can play a real game. Um, I mean, maybe. Maybe he'll be dead. I mean, listen, he might I, I'm telling you right now, Pask is dead on his first turn. If he's not... I am going to be thoroughly shocked. I would, I would like not to have a last cannon hitting on twos against me. So, yeah, that's probably why I'm I'm not blaming him. you for killing him. I'm just saying he's going to be dead because Lehman Russes are... Trash. Trash. They're, so not, they're not very good. There's some Codex rules. Not yet. Codex stuff coming out. It's been leaked. We've had some other, other videos about that uh, maybe they're going to be better. But right now, they're, they're smut. So At least they're T8, though. So oh, that's... man, that matters a lot. <laughs> matters a lot. What's the strength of the most of your guns? Uh... Only eight. All right, so I'm, let's I'm get to the armies. Four. Thousand points of guard. We have Pask with his Punisher cannon and Laz cannon. After that, we have Creed, which is along with a Commissar, which are the HQ choices for the battalion detachment, which is three troop choices. All one with a heavy bolter and one with a mortar. Then we have two sentinels, just scout sentinels with multi lasers. After that, we have two basilisks, basilisks and a manticore. And then we have the spearhead detachment with three heavy weapon squads, two mortars, and one last cannon squad, and two wyverns. After that, we have the flyers, which is the cheese. These are the flyers. We have Avenger, which has defensive heavy stubber, Avenger bolt cannon, two LAS, and two auto cannons. After that, we have the Vendetta, which three, has three twin LAS cannons, two heavy bolters. And the two in the left are vultures with t heavy bolters and twin Punisher cannons. And that's 2,000 points of guard. Here we have 2,000 points of Tau. It is just a battalion detachment. We have two commanders as the HQ choices with two ion or cyclonic and two fusion blasters. And they have two marker drones for both. After that, we have the troop choices for the battalion, which is three squads of 10 fire warriors no special weapons and then pathfinders and these two marker drones as well we also have a broadside suit with the heavy rifle with twin or two smart missile systems which it's just wizzy wigged uh, along with two marker drones another HQ choice is long strike with ion cannon along with another hammerhead with the same loadout then we have crisis suits, all with two fusion blasters and one cyclonic with m marker drones accompanying them. Lastly, we have the big riptide with an ion cannon and two smart missile systems. So it's, this is the whole list, 2000 points of Tau. Let's see if it can take on this squad of guard. And here is the battlefield we will be playing on. It is just our standard Acropolis mission, which is three objectives, one in the middle, two other ones. Uh, the one that I chose to put in my deployment zone was there. Then there is the one in the middle. And then Tim put his on this left corner. It is actually on the bottom level. We just put it there so that we didn't get confused. And that is it. The deployment zones are Hammer and An Anvil, which is just a long ways. I get first deployment because Tim picked
picked his deployment zone. My first drop will be this commander in deep strike. And then Tim is going to decide that this scout sentinel is his first drop. We will be back with full deployment all done. Here is deployment all done. We have a long strike and a hammerhead over here. We have fire warriors up in that, fire warriors around this building. We have a broadside up in the middle over here with drones and then pathfinders in the middle. We have fire warriors in that with riptide back. And for a guard, we have a sentinel up front. All of his artillery in this corner, like normal. Then we have this manticore that is just hardly hanging on. After that, we have this squad of infantry around. We have all the mortars in there, along with Creed in the middle, which will never die. Uh, we also have the three flyers, which is the cheese in the corner. They all group up next to each other. And the sentinel up front. Now we are going to roll for first. I get plus one to my roll. So let's see. Looks like Tim gets a five and I get a five as well. So we will roll again. I get a five, makes it a six and he gets a three. No point in command pointing since I get a six. So he's probably gonna save his command point for the C's. So now for the C's. Tim is going to roll it. He does not get it with just the three. So he is going to command point this roll. Oh, almost, but just a one. So I will get first turn. Before the first turn, we get our scout moves. So my pathfinders are going to move up and so are his scout sentinels ending just like this and the scout sentinels will end 12, 9 inches up like so and the other one will follow suit by charging forward the 9 inches ending like so now to start the first turn rolling for objectives I am going to roll three to six, choose two of them. I get a six, a two, and a one, which according to the sheet is score objective one, score objective two, and then six is have a unit in their deployment zone. So I will take one and two. One is in the middle, and two is on this in the corner. After it movement i didn't move the long strike or hammerhead the fire warriors went down the fire other fire warriors went up where riptide stayed still so did and then these fire warriors moved up the pathfinders got their movement up to objective one so that is all of movement for tau turn one so those two drones are going into pask that is hiding under there. Hitting on fives, marker lights. One hit. We'll go six of these, there's ten total. Six into Pask, and the other four are going to go into the bad vessels right here. So, six four ups on Pask. Two hits. Bringing him to three. Marker lights on him. And the other four into the bash, bastos on fours. Three. Putting him at three marker lights. And I believe that's all my marker lights. Onto the normal shooting. We have these guys. And they're going to shoot all into the sentinel. Hitting on fours on the sentinel. Uh, wounding on A4 because strength fine. No wound. Fire warriors into that sentinel over there. Hitting on fours again. Oh my god. Wounding on fours. <laughs> These six going into that sentinel. Hitting on fours again. Hitting on fours. Wounding on fours. Three ones. So three up save. Ah, uh, yep, three up save. 
Good. Sick. In the movement phase, I was supposed to. I'm gonna take a mortal wound and use his Nova Charge. So, Long Strike's gonna put his Smart Missile Systems into the Sentinel over there, and then his Ion Cannon is going to go into pass. I am going to overcharge his Ion Cannon, so giving me D6 shots. D3 normally, but since it has 10 or more wounds, I get D6. D6 shots. Four. I get two is rolling. I don't know why I'm rolling, but maybe. So they all hit? Threes. Yep, negative two. Okay, so he's in cover, so he has a, a two up save, goes to a four up save. Okay. Feeling pain. Here we go, six up. Okay, six up for the Warlord Trape. Okay, so he takes two damage. Smart missile systems into the Sentinel. Hitting on two strength five versus toughness five, so wounding on force. Freaking three up, save. What's and the damage? damage? Just one of these. Okay. Same thing from this hammerhead. Just it's not in range of smart missiles, so I just the ion cannon at pass. D6 shots, just to command point that, that's what I want to see. Hitting on twos, rolling ones. Rolls, oh, that was the right one too. All hit. What do you know? Threes. Four fours. Command point. One of them. Nine six ups for the Warlord trait. Made one. No, two. Okay. So it'd be seven. Seven Eight. damage. This guy is going to fire his uh, smart missile system into that sentinel over there. And then Pask is way to get. he'll just shoot heavy two and do uh, task. Four is rolling ones. Come on, math. Rolling ones. Please. <laughs> Smart missile systems into the sentinel. Uh, wounding on force or force. Uh, four up save. Three up save. Three up save. Riptide into the pass. The ion accelerator is going there, and then the smart missile systems will go into the sentinel. So, D6 shots on pass, two shots, hitting on fours, one hit, wounding on strength nine, so wounding on a three. Wound. Uh, five up for pass, uh, flat three, so you made one. He's down or, to one wound. Okay. Eight shots from the smart missile system into the sentinel. Hitting on fours. Uh, wounding on just fours. Yep. Both the drones are going to fire their missile pods at that sentinel and try and kill it. Hitting on fives. One hit. One answer. Nothing. Okay, rolling for objectives for his first turn is Tim. Two, three, and six. Which ones do you want to keep? Six. Command point in the six. Ooh, five. Into a five, which is killing kill unit. So he's going to probably take that one, right? Yeah, we'll take three and five. Three and five. Yeah, I forgot to show So I forgot moves. to put a primary Psyker down, so it's right over there in the middle of that train. Guard movement is done, leaving all of his flyers like so. Sentinel went up, other sentinels up. The Psyker advanced, squad up. Creed advanced over there. These guys obviously move, didn't move. No movement there. And this squad also advanced. That's about it. So taking out these three in the back. So order phase-ish thing. It's the beginning of the shooting phase. First rank, second rank, 
on this unit from Creed. Firing at the Pathfinders. Hitting on Force. Force. Wounding on Force. Yeah. Okay, three files. Made one. Two Pathfinders again. Auto cannons. On Force. Nothing. Nothing. Creed is going to order these last cannons to take aim. Take aim yep, which and reroll ones. ones to hit. Yep. Look it up. Flaring at this bad Jackson over here, the broadside. Oh yeah. Hey on force. Rerolling ones. Um, one hit. Wounding on a three. Four up save. All good. Creed is going. Creed is going to over, uh, order, himself. order himself to move move, 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 advancing an extra one, ending right there. Manticore is shooting at the hammerhead in the corner. 2d6 shots. Command point. Command point in that. Yep, 10 shots. Three on force. One of threes. Fire up save. D3 damage. Okay, so this squad is taking shots at the Pathfinders. Last gun's hitting on fours. Fours. Fours to wound. Five ups. Made one. Heavy bolter. That Scout Sentinel into these drones has a multi-laser. Three shots. Hit move, hit on fives. Hitting on fives. Good time. Oh, hits. Good time. This Sentinel also into that set of drones. Hitting on fives. Good time. Heavy Bolter is going into these drones, and then this last can, or all the last cans, Six into, last cans. into that guy over there. Heavy Bolter's first. Hitting on fives. Fives. One and threes. Five up. It's a five up. Last cannon. Hitting on fives. Really above average. One and threes. Six up save. Two d six damage. Six damage. Bringing it down to four wounds remaining. Okay, so this guy's twin punisher, so that's a lot of shots, 40 to be exact, are going into the pathfinders, and this this uh, drones are gonna take the heavy bolters. Punisher. Punisher first 20, hitting on five. Uh, no, there'll be threes because he didn't move. Oh yeah, he hovered threes. 13 it hits the first time, next 20. This is the first 20. Still have seven more. Uh, saving these on fours? Fives. Fives. Fives? Yeah, you have five save, right? Oh my god. It's fives. They're dead. You want to take any on the drones? No, thank you. Heavy bolters on the drones. That's more like it. One wound. Five up save. Oh, just fine. These mortars are going into... Two last guns at the drones, and then the mortar at these drones. Okay. Hit hey, and force. Wounding on force. Force. Trip save. Other squad of mortars are doing the same thing. Yep. Guns and these. Last guns, and then uh, the other the mortars. Last guns. Nothing, and then three to six mortars. So, 11. 11. Hitting on fours. Hitting on fours. Whew. Wounding on fours. Two. Three ups. And this one. Kill. Oh. 
mortars main gun, which is uh, storm shard, storm shard mortars, and that, that those are going into these guys, and then the heavy bolter is going into these friends, which have still not been escaped. Heavy heavy bolter first, and in fours. Wounding on a three. Five up, five up save, just fine. Uh, the main gun, mortars, mortar thingamajig, 46. Oh. That's a lot. 19. Uh, hitting on fours. That's a lot of them. Wounding on threes, re rolling fails. This is one. Four up saves. No IP on this. Five. Uh, five of these gone. Back five. That's fine. So other wyvern is going into these guys. So mortars. Mortars into there. And heavy bolter into there. Heavy bolter first. And four. Wounding on a three. Five up save. Mortars into those fire warriors, 46. Hitting on force. Wounding on threes, re rolling. Taking these two out. So twin Punisher cans and the heavy bolter into this squad of fire warriors. Seven hits out of twenty. Uh, the next twenty. And four are still. Seventeen total hits. Wounding on three. Yep. Four up saves. That squad is gone. Oh, Pask is going to go into this broadside with his last cannon, hitting on a four. Nothing. And the Basilisk Cannon will fire here. Basilisk is going Earth Shaker Cannon into this, and then uh, Heavy Bolter into that drone. So Heavy Bolter first, hitting on fours. Good top. Uh, 2d6 pick the highest for the Earth Shaker. Four. Hitting on fours. Strength nine. Threes. Five up. We're rolling this. Got him. Three. Three. Four up. We're going to three. Oh, no, we're going to three. Sorry. Five up. Oh. The 2d6 picked the highest shots on the Earth Shaker. We're hitting on fours. Where are the reds? Saving this on a five. Two D three damage. One. So how about it? I'll take it. Okay, so this flyer is going to shoot its. He, basically, he's going to fire here. You're going to fire your broadside, broadside. and at both of these. Okay. So we're going two las cannons, two auto cannons, Avenger bolt cannon, defensive heavy stubborn. Okay, doke. Your Avenger bolt cannon at the broadside, hitting on fours. fours. Only on threes. Four up saves. Bringing him down to five remaining. Uh, at the drone, hitting on threes. Three hits. Only on fours. Four ups. Killing he finally room. dies. Is he's, he's the freaking legendary guy right there. Auto cannons hitting on fours at the wounded, wounded uh, tank. Last cannons on fours. Threes. Uh, Sentinel charging these guys. Overwatching. 20 shots. Hitting on sixes. Just two. Uh, wounding on a four. Four up save. 
four inch charge, snake eyes. Six inch charge, getting them right close and personal. One single attack from the sentinel. Hits. And a wound. And a wound. Four up. Uh, pile in. <laughs> Yeah, just trying to get in there. Get as many as possible. This guy can somehow fight in there, but uh, that's eight attacks. Hitting on fours. One and fives. Hey, look at that. Now I, we have to take morale in multiple locations, I think. No, just one. Hoping for a six here. Three. Lose one. Fish. That is guard turn two. That was, or turn one, turn one. So yeah, that was something. So scoring both of his objectives plus uh, first blood. Rolling for objectives for my second turn. Taking two and five, so, so score objective two and kill him. Okay, I'll be back with the movement. The commander is coming in, and the crisis suit's coming in. These are flip flops. I accidentally put them in the wrong spot. These guys are backing out, ending like that. Uh, this guy is gonna go smart missile system over here. He doesn't need line of sight, and uh, the high yield missile into that mother trucker. Wait, he has missile finger. Hitting on fours. Wounding on a four. One. Four. Four save. Hitting on freaking fives, rerolling ones. Uh, wounding on a three. I got way over there, but it's fine. D6 damage. That's a four. These guys, these drones are going at that stupid thing. Rerolling ones at least, but that's about it. My bad. Uh, one of them shooting at that sentinel, the other one has to shoot at this because there's nothing else. Uh, the first one hitting on its normal five up on the sentinel. Sick. Real, not reeling ones. Uh, next one is a six up reeling ones. Cool. The fire warriors over there are going into the sentinel. All in rapid fire, so eight shots hitting on four. Math, four is to wound. Cool. Four. Uh, so this hammerhead is going into pass with the big gun, and the other gun is going to go in the high yield, the smart missile system going into that sentinel. Hey, or the missile pod, whatever the heck it is. Uh, smart missile system into the sentinel. But again, fours now. Wounding on fours. Uh, four up save. Heavy to six. Four. Hitting on fours. Wounding on threes. Four up. Two up, four up. Command point, the armor save. Four up save. Got it. I'm gonna go into this guy with the ion accelerator. And the smart missile system will go into that sentinel. D6 shots and then overcharge ion accelerator onto this, whatever the heck that thing is. Flyer. Vulture. Vulture. Hard to know. Um, D6. Five. Hitting on fours. Wounding on threes. Negative three, so six of six. Uh, smart missile system, like I said, into that sentinel. Hitting on fours. Uh, wounding on a four. Four up save. Ion cannon from this into this guy. He's hovering, so prime real estate. D60 shots. Hitting on twos. I didn't miss one. Wounding on three. Five up save. 
Uh, so smart missile systems from long strike into that, trying to finish off the sentinel, hitting a cheese. Uh, warning on five or four. Fourth, fours. He does. Blows up on a six. Not a six. Uh, that is the end of tower turn two. Rolling for objectives. One, four, and six. Okay, so keeping one and four, which four is choose. choose. So you choose three. Yeah. Okay, so after his movement, he has this guy over here, back in full. No, he was never in hover. Uh, this guy's now hovering. He is now in flight mode over there. Uh, we have the Psycho that advanced to get that objective. We have these guys move up. Task advanced out of there. And no movement, obviously, from these guys. Wyvern's good. Creed stayed put. No, no, he moved. We're actually going to go with the... Uh, and then these guys moved up normal. Yeah. Psychic phase. This guy is going to smite the drones in front of him. Five. No, it's okay. it's good. He gets three attacks. Four. Command point. D3 damage, or mortal wounds. That's good. Exactly. Order phase, we have uh, Creed, the only one that can give orders. Okay, so heavy weapons here, and this squad is all rerolling ones to hit from Creed. So last guns first, two in range. Rolling ones, so one hit. Five. Fives to wound. Uh, three up save. Auto cannons, hitting on fours. Threes to wound. Negative one, so four. Uh, Creed is going to order the last cannons to reroll ones to hit on the broad side. Hitting on fours, rerolling ones. One and threes. Five up. Uh, I'm going to command point that. D6 damage. Command point. Bring him down to four ones remaining. Creed is going to move him, or, uh, order himself to move, move, move. So he is advancing six extra trenches. Four las guns here shooting into the drones because it's not. You know. They can't because they, they can't probably see. can. They can't see that commander. What are you saying? They can't see that guy. How? Um, How so? The, he's just hidden from the maelstrom of war. Okay, that's weird. He's pretty big. Yeah, here. See if you can get it down from this angle. You won't be able to see him. Okay, let's see. Now, hang on, hang on, hang on. How do, how do I do get it? Get down and see if you can see that commander. Uh, two of them are gonna... All right. All right. Yeah. See, they can't see. Oh him. yeah, they can't see him. Okay. Dang, that's crazy. Yeah, that can't. Like, from the commander's point of view, it looks like uh. He can see them. Yeah, he, he can, can see, see them. them. All right. Uh, okay, uh, hitting on force and the drones. Five up. Probably make this four up. Never. And this is going into broadside. Or the broadside. It's. 40 shots. Predator, predator cannon? Punisher. Punisher cannon. I heard the new one, though, Tim. Okay, so hang on five. So here's the first 20. Math. So uh, that's 10 hits out of 20. So in the next 20. Two up saves. There that's all. Go. Heavy bolt through the same target, hitting on five. Ending on a four. Uh, negative one, so four two. So pass is going to pop smoke. Which means negative one to hit my next turn, and he cannot fire his other one. So this heavy bolter up here is going into that back squad of two drones, and then the other stuff is going into. No, they, they're out of range. They're out of range, okay, so just that. Hitting on fours. So bottom squad here is going into the same squad of drones, the two back ones. Hitting on fours. Oh no, 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 my bad. 3d6 first. Fours. Two one. Or to hit. Sorry. And warning on fours. Four up saves. Going. The top four. Uh, is going to go into this squad of drones. Three to six. Ooh, hitting on fours. Uh, wounding on fours. Fours. 
saving me is on force. Manticore, the Manticore over here is going to fire all the way over at long strike. All right. 2d6 shots. Uh, hitting force. Okay. Wounding on threes. Threes. There we go. Corp save. Cool. Vendetta is shooting its heavy bolters or heavy bolter at these drones. And then its last cans are going at, at, into long strike. Yep. Heavy bolter at the drone. So fours. Three. On a three. Five up save. Six last cans yeah. hitting on fours. Fours. Threes to wound, long strike. Two five ups. Two to six damage. Bring him down to two wounds remaining. Okay, so heavy stubber from Info. this guy here. Um, his last cans are over here, and all of his other stuff is over here. Heavy stubber first. Auto cannons going into the suits. Fours. Threes. Four up. Two uh, Bring him down to one, ro one remaining, and now the last cannon's in the. No, not the Avenger Bolt cannon. Oh, Avenger Bolt cannon in the, the same guy. Fours. So, four up. One and threes. He's Fives. This one will die, and this one will take him down to one wound. Last cannon's in the long strike, hitting on fours. Wounding on three. Six up. Uh, D6 damage. He's dead. On a six. six. Wyvern everything at these guys. First, Wyvern, that is. Uh, three. Oh, yeah. Hitting on fours. Wounding on fours. Two. Four ups. Uh, takes one down to two. Forty-six. Hey, on four. Uh, one hand. No, one no, hand. Five. Five. With a reroll. Re re Rerolling those fails. Three ups. Uh, first basilisk. Uh, heavy uh, bolter there, and then his earth shaker cannon there. Heavy bolter heading on fours. Three is the wound. Four, sorry. Four is the wound. Tim's a liar. Nope. Hitting or two d six shot or two dies. Fours. Threes. Uh, one, two up. Uh, becomes a four up and then in cover so it becomes a three up. He's just fine. Earth Tricker Cannon from the Basil nope, is going go here. Over. And no heavy bolt to target. 2d6 to choose the highest. Uh, hitting on four. Morning on a three. Five up. D3 damage. Uh, see if it blows up. It does not. It's dead. Tim's excited about it. I'm not sad. Heavy bolter from the Wyvern over there into here, and then it's mortars into the Crisis suit. Heavy bolter first, hitting on fours. Threes, swarmed. Five up, save. 46 shots on the Crisis suit. Okay, hitting on fours. Wounding on five for rolling. Three ups. This fails one. Uh, takes him out. After turn two, we have uh, he got both of his objectives and no say the warlord yet. So that's four points plus first blood to my four points. I have four. Close game. Uh, objectives for my turn three. Let me roll this one. Let me roll this one. Roll this one this time. 
Marker light from back here is going into that one that is in hover right there. Hitting on a five. This guy going into the um, Looking for a five here. This commander is going all into this. Um, made the one to hit. For the cyclonic, uh, I'm overcharging D3 a piece. Hitting on four. No, three is really on. One and threes. Two ones and one. Four up. D3 damage. Two damage. What are you made through? Uh, I can take a mortal wound from the two because the two and negative one to hit um, makes it one. So he takes one mortal wound. Two fusion blasters into it. Hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. D6 damage. Command point, uh, overcharged Cyclonic into that Vendetta, D3 shots a piece, hitting on twos, no rerolls, uh, wounding on threes, negative one, D3 damage, three, uh, six up feeling of pain from the mortal wound, Nothing. Bringing him down to four wounds remaining. Hitting on twos. Fusion blasters. Wounding on threes. D6 damage. This guy is going to go. He's going to attack first. system into that. Psycho over there. And the rail gun into that one. Hitting on fours on the Psyker. Threes to wound. Five up save. Hitting on fours on the vendetta. Threes to wound. Flipping both of them, please. D6 damage. Mortal wound on him. Sorry, I keep forgetting to do it. I'm an overcharging voice. These guys uh, shooting into the wounded guy, or vendetta. Uh, hitting on fours. You're shooting the vendetta? Sorry, uh, what's it called? That's an Avenger. Avenger is what I'm shooting into, not the Valkyrie. Warning on five. Yeah, you can grab one down and look at it. Eight. Other fire warriors into the Avenger, 16 shots. Warning on fives. Warning on fives as well. Uh, five, three uh, ups. three ups. Or four three ups. Good. Missile drones are going into that Vendetta. Hitting on fives. Uh, strength seven, so force. Five up saves. D3 damage apiece. D6 shots on that guy right there. Avenger. Avenger. D6. Hitting on fives. Uh, one and three. Six up save. Eight, uh, four ups from the Riptide into the Vendetta. That's injured. Uh, wounding on fives. It's scored this one, so that puts me at five, and he's at five. Uh, uh, for objectives, roll that one, two, roll the two. Uh, two, four, and five. Making four a three because he can choose an objective, and this is going to be killing unit. Movement is these guys just moved up. Everything back here is stand still because Tim doesn't know how to move them. And then we got pass just stayed still like normal. Okay. No pass move. He moved? Yeah. He's only got oh, yeah, he's got four inches. My bad, my bad. He moved. Of his full four. Uh, this guy hovered. This guy moved and is. He's actually up top too. He's up top over so here. He's got to go 20 inches from that point next turn. And then uh, this one hovered as well, right? Yep. Second yeah. phase, uh, smiting from there onto the commander. Going off on a five. D3 damage. Just a one. Okay, uh, feel no pain on him for the warlord trait. No big deal. 
He is down to three wounds remaining. <laughs> Start of the, f the shooting phase. We have Creed to order, that's all. So what is he gonna do? So Creed is going to order the bottom squad of mortars in there to reroll ones to hit. My bad, uh, rerolling ones to wound on the mortars into my commander over there. Last gun first. And four, one out of five. Mortars. Eleven. Eleven shots. Hitting on force. Twenty on five. Three up saves. Six up saves. Cool. Taking him down to one. Creed ordering the other mortars to do the same thing, rolling ones to wound. Last gun first. Hitting a four. Winning out a five. Rolling ones. Command point. Okay. Mortars. Mortars. Hitting in force. Five for our ones. My ones with plenty of. No, two fives. Three ups. You good. Six up to no pain. Congrats. I feel pain. Lots of pain. He's gone. Creed for his final order is gonna first rank, second rank on to those dudes. Firing at the broadside. Hitting in force. One five up. Auto cannon the squad. Hitting on force. Threes to wound. Two up. Why not? Everything from this is going into the fire warriors right over there. Hitting in five. Moving on. No, hang on. Then we got 20 more. Oh, 20 more. Yeah, wow. So. Okay. Five ups. Moving on three. Three up saves because I'm in cover. That kills the squad over there. There's four of them. Three last cans from way over there. Is going into broadside. He's cool. Hitting on fours. Promptly hit them all. Reach to one. He's out the old. He's Five up save. Yep. Shooty six damage. What ones? Nothing. He is dead. Heavy at the drones. Everything else at the root side. So heavy at the drones. Hitting on what four. is it? Four. Mm -hmm. Hitting on three is here. Okay. Six up saves on the drones. They good. Lock them off. Okay, Our cans tide. into the riptide. Two last cans promptly hit them both. Ending on threes. Neg three. He's good. Okay. Riptide. Not to at the riptide. riptide. Uh, command point shots. Ten shots total. He command pointed it. I didn't catch it. Uh, hitting on fours. Yeah. Wounding on threes. threes. Four negative two. Four negative two. Uh, they are definitely in cover. So you would get uh, four up. Two D three damage. So four four damage bring him down to uh, seven. One man. Six last cannon shots going from the Vendetta and everything else. Oh, you know, I'm going to fire the Vendetta's oh. things here. Other stuff. Heavy bolter into the drones. Here's the Six last cannon. Wounding, er, threes. wounding on threes. Oh, save. Okay, the drone. Into the drone. Wounding on three. three. Four. Eight last guns from drone. Uh, those squad of infantry into that drone. Putting on fours. Wounding on Five. fives. Five. Uh, four. Both basilics. So first one. Uh, Earth Shaker cannons. Two to six to choose the highest. Fours. Fours to hit. Threes to wound. Uh, 
negative two? Yep. So, not that. Okay. Two damage, one damage. Other basilisk. Three shots. Hitting on fours. Warning on threes. Up saves. Uh, 3d3 damage. Good. He is dead. And I am going to give you a left hand handshake. Good game, Tim. Nice cheese list. I'm proud. <laughs> a nice cheese. Uh, yeah, the, those flyers hurt a lot. The native to hit is rough. And yeah. It wasn't that rough. Good game. It was a good game. It was it was rough. Uh, I uh, had a lot to fear. Tau, Tau are very scary. Uh, so anybody that, that naysays about Tau, uh, Brad, I'm talking to you, Brad. <laughs> that's, so, uh, so yeah, I mean, that. you've played Tau quite a bit now. A few times, yeah. Uh, I don't think they're terrible. I really don't. I mean, maybe I, they might be pricey in some, some respects, which is fine. I think there are ways to play Tau other than just Commanders, ma'am. But... Hopefully, people will stop doing the that. The problem is, commanders are the best thing in the book. Yeah, I mean, it's it's insane. It's like 170 points for like four yeah. really good weapons on a two up platform. How many wounds do they have? Five or six? Six. Six wounds. And just not being able to target them really, really hurts you. Yeah. You know, it really hurts your, your opponent. And we did some tongue in cheek stuff in the battle report. I'm sure you saw it. I hope you saw it. It was hilarious. <laughs> the best thing um but you know in the from my point of view the or my perspective i guess my flyers were they, they performed well uh, i i probably wouldn't bring four flyers on average that was pretty yeah, crazy it's just against me is what just against has. caleb it's just against. I, every time he plays against me it's okay <laughs> that's the first time i brought four flyers in eighth edition and uh flyers really aren't that good the, uh, the avenger has a lot of firepower uh so do, so do the vultures I don't know, too. everything has a lot of firepower but they just, their poor ballistic skill and your ability to just, you mentioned something earlier about, you know, the negative one to hit hurting. Yeah. Basically, your commanders were hitting them on threes. Well, it's just, it's unbelievable. Threes are rolling ones, so I mean, like. Oh, my. So, I mean, I guess, <laughs> but my drones hitting on sixes really were, was awful. And I don't, I didn't have any other marker light at the point, at that time. So not being able to have well, those marker light. lights were important for me to get rid of too. Yeah, oh, I, yeah, I had to remove those as soon as possible. So when you deep struck those eight drone or six drones with marker mm -hmm. lights, no, actually, what it was ten overall, right? Yes, that was brutal. Ten. That was brutal because I couldn't kill in turn one because they were in deep strike. So yeah. that was a, a good tactic. Yeah, it was it was a uh, it was rough. I think Pass should have been dead for turn one. Definitely, and I think like you're, when you go back and watch it, you're going to see that a lot of a lot of what happened was you just didn't roll high enough on your variable damage. Yeah. Or, and variable uh, amount of shots, too, because uh, the Riptide has a variable da or amount of shots. Uh, I'd like to see him get rid of that. Just make it... Yeah, like flat. I don't yeah. care. Like three, even? Yeah. Like, the, the, you know, just so I don't get like a one or a two. And, there's been I a mean, lot I, of... I can command point one of them, but when I have like three different ways, three different right. variable amount of shots, I can't command point them all. So. And this is before the guard codex comes out, so maybe they'll give some of that stuff to guard. Yeah. Stratagem wise, you know. And when Tau, Tau's just gonna have to, you know, bite the ball. Tau's stratagems are gonna be nasty when they come out. I'm telling you right now. They better be. Well, from what I hear, That's the points are gonna go to down do. on Tau. They they got overpointed because they were so good before. This. Uh, but but this. man, I mean, what are you gonna do? Make a Riptide 300 points? It's just. I mean, 280 would be nice. Two, oh my God! They used to be 180 base, and they could kill anything in the game at that time other than super heavies with I mean, a single shot. To be fair, they still can. But it's they can. Not three very flat easy. damage. That three flat damage is nasty. I mean, do you, if you get like a six hundred. What is that? Eighteen. Shots? It's eighteen potential wounds. Yeah, that's. I the mean, max. a battle cannon's the same thing. But if you ma that's if you yeah. max everything out. And like, I mean, it has other weapons. Like it has the smart missile system. So I mean, that's good against killing, just infantry. I guess the sheer amount of dice you roll is pretty insane. Yeah, but you do. I mean, the more I know, everyone's like, oh, it's one mortal wound, but you still have to take a mortal wound for it. So I mean. Yeah, um, but come on, it's one mortal wound. I, I, so. I understand because everyone says that. But well, like, I mean, it's not they, everyone they has it, like they say it because it's true. It happens well, to be. I mean, think about the amount of points you're paying for that one mortal wound on a. Part of my time. soul, because like is is crying for you. Uh, that's good. And I'm just kidding. I, I'm no, glad. it's not. Tau, I will never feel bad for Tau. Like, I mean, the Riptide has the same amount of wounds as one of these flyers, and this thing is hard to hit. So, I don't know, man. And it has hit, like four. That's shots. hard to kill. 
I don't know, man. It was a good game, though. I mean, yeah. I, I Tower think... worries me a lot when I'm playing them. And, and, you know, for whatever reason, they can just remove things so easily. Going this way kind of hurt me because uh, you have so much artillery. That I was able to hide sit. it. You can just sit back there, yeah. and I have to come to you, and I don't have a lot of stuff to do that. I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, I know. Uh, but if it was long ways, like, I could have had maybe a place to deep strike better because you would have been more spread out. Yeah, I didn't have that much infantry, but I probably would have deployed, like, in a ring. Yeah. You know what I mean? With my heavy weapons, like, in between infantry and, yeah, like, multiple layers of... Uh, but at least I would have had... You would have been more condensed. Yeah. So that means that my 18-inch uh, range on that stuff would have been fine. Yeah. As of today, these are still trash. Absolute uh, garbage. Hitting on twos is, I mean, past. So this was bad. 219 points, and it did absolutely nothing. All it did was take two tank shot tanks on turn one. Well. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so any other last thoughts here? Uh, Garter Monsters, um, and, They're yeah, good. it's hard to beat. They're good. I'm going to have to cheese harder next time. Can't cheese the cheesiest. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode of... Cheese with Tim. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll have more battle reports coming for you in the very new f near future. So. I will be careful.